Super Anti-Spyware, the free edition. Now this will remove a lot of malware infections which are currently in circulation. The first thing you want to do when you've downloaded it is check for updates. Now this one's already up to date. If you look at the preferences, you have a useful tool here. After the scans are complete and you've removed the malware infections, you can enable the start menu if it's been disabled, the system tray task manager. A lot of the malicious programs that are around at the moment disable the home page, the desktop, uh, the clock, they reset it to military time. Here you can reset it all, you just highlight the item, perform repair, that's it. Hijack protection, you can change here if you need to, but I would leave these as they are, protect your home page. Real time protection is only available in the paid version. Scanning control, leave these ses settings as they are. And general and startup, you can leave those as well. So we'll close that, scan your computer. Now, if you have a malware infection, or you suspect you have one, then boot into safe mode first. If you have a recovery partition, which is usually located on drive D, then tick that one as well. But you can tick any drive you like. You can do these separately, or you can do them all at one time. Now, my recovery partition is drive D, I will scan that at the same time. If I perform a complete scan and we will just let it run and come back to the results after it scanned the memory, the registry and the file items and we'll see what threats have been detected. I have actually downloaded Internet Antivirus which is one of the rogue programs going around that is a lot like the Antivirus XP antivirus 2008-2009 etc etc and this should pick it up right it scanned the memory it scanned the registry it's now scanning the file items as you can see it has found the rogue internet antivirus that I downloaded so this shows that the program does work when the scan is completed, you'll get a summary in front of you showing the memory items, the files detected, registry items and total threats, and the scan time. You can preview the items. Now, this has been done on a machine which has 22 gigabytes used on the hard drive and 4 gigabytes on the recovery partition. Now, this has found the rogue antivirus and what it contains. So what we'll do, click next. You need to reboot to fully remove the harmful software. I will click no at the moment because I will finish making the video first and then I will reboot. When you finish, that's it. You can close the menu, do your reboot, and your machine will be cleaned. If you want any more information on malware and the various removal tools, have a look on Free PC Security, which you can Google search and you'll find it, or go to kotojo.wordpress.com. I hope this has been of some use to you.